can we can we talk how you work with directors? Because Oliver Stone, Bertolucci, yeah. Gus Van Zandt, Ridley Scott, they're all very different temperaments and, and have different styles. Do they sit in the editing suite with you constantly? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, just talk about that process. Directors are different. I mean, um, I worked for many years with Oliver Stone and he did not like, uh, you know, sitting in the cutting room because uh, it was just too slow. You know, so it was like watching paint dry, you know, working on, on the film. But uh, he would come, you know, later on and review and he would actually be very specific about notes and, 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 and change it. And even though a lot of times we had things that would work, he said, how can we make it better? He was really, really pushing to make the best we could and, and was really about quality and um, the ultimate, um, the best thing that we can, can achieve. Um, I, uh, my next experience with Bertolucci was completely opposite to that. I mean, also the environment in the cutting was different. Uh, Oliver was uh, very high strong. I mean, always in combat mode, you know? Kill him, kill him, okay, you gotta, <laughs> whatever it is. Whereas with, uh, with Bertolucci, it was just a total opposite environment. Very calm, um, very, very generous also as, a, as, a, as an artist in terms of, 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 of the work. And he liked spending uh, time uh, in the cutting room working together. Um, but it wasn't about, hey, no, let's cut this and let's look at some other shots and let's do this. Uh, Bernardo would tell stories, tell stories about, you know, Pasolini or Godard. So it was just great. It was great hearing that. But at the same time, he would be able to, uh, to focus on, on the work at hand in front of it. And I find very, uh, very close similarities with Gus Van Sant. And, and when I worked with him, we were working in Gus's house in, in Portland in his living room. And Gus basically living like a, uh, like a college student, you know, with boxes. He had, um, I liked working in his house. I, I would cook lunch sometimes. But he would be in the cutting room uh, playing his guitar. But still focused, you know, just doodling along. And, uh, but uh, I saw similarities to Bertolucci because he was very much influenced by uh, Bertolucci, and he told me that some of his favorite films are, you know, The Conformist and uh, La Luna, but he said, he, I studied those films. Two film filmmakers I studied was are Kubrick and Bertolucci, and I could see from the cavern movement, from that, the way his cinematic language works, that it is about designing the scene based on camera movements, storytelling through camera movement. So there was the film in there, and also the fact that he loved editing and being in, in the room. Um, Sam, uh, Raimi would be in and out. He, he liked it uh, as well. Um, with uh, with uh, Ridley Scott, we, we are very intensive editing uh, after, uh, while we should, but also after we have, during the director's cut. We spend a lot of time together um, and then basically leaves me to finish it up when it comes down to, you know, finishing visual effects and music. So he's half and half. Whenever his schedule allows, he comes in. but. I know that after the, the Prince of Father, we really spent a lot of time putting the movie in shape.